Mark from Sound Matters here with another vinyl related video and in today's topic we're going to talk about how you can fix broken seams on record sleeves. Depending on how your sleeve is constructed, which type of sleeve you have, there's a couple of different methods we're going to talk about, so let's get straight into that now. Okay, so depending on the kind of record jacket that we're dealing with, there are a couple of different methods we're going to look at to repair a split seam. So here's an example of each type of situation you might come across. So here, with this Santana album, there is an internal fold like so. And of course that internal fold would have had adhesive on it, and that adhesive has failed over time, meaning the back cover is now coming away from the front cover. So we want to fix that. The same is happening at the bottom, where of course there's another fold, internal fold here where the adhesive has failed. That's example number one. We've got a method that's going to work really well to fix that. Example number two with this Tony Bennett album, there is no internal fold here. So the front cover is attached directly to the back cover using a, a seamless fold. So there's no internal flap at all. And that would have just continuously gone from the back here to the front here like so. And over time, it's come away and it's failed at the top here. And it's slowly working its way down to the back spine, as you can see here. And the same is happening at the bottom. So we've also got a really nice clean method for fixing this kind of situation as well. But what we're not going to look at is one of the more crude ways that you may have seen of repairing record jackets over time you know, when you've been collecting used records and that's using things like tape and a lot of glue and that kind of side of things. But here's an example here of a hard day's night uh, where you've got somebody's done a really crude repair with tape around the outside of the record jacket here. So not only is that not a very good repair, it doesn't hold up over time, but it also looks pretty unsightly and spoils the beauty of the album artwork outside here. So you, know, you get that yellowing of the tape over time, the tape fails, it doesn't work very well and it spoils the outer jacket. And one of the great things about collecting vinyl records is that canvas, is that beautiful artwork and we want to preserve that and we want to make our repairs in a way that is as seamless and as invisible um, and unobtrusive as it can be. Okay, so method number one, we're going to look at repairing that jacket that has the internal fold uh, like this Santana one here. And it'd be very tempting to just apply a small amount of glue all the way down here. But I don't like this method because I think it risks getting glue where it shouldn't go. I think a cleaner, safer method is to use something like 3M double-sided tape, like this roll that I have here. This is a half-inch, 12 millimeter uh, roll of tape that's double-sided. Nice, strong 3M adhesive. And um, yeah, you just need to make sure that your uh, width of tape that you buy obviously is not wider than the internal fold um, so we want a decent size but we don't want to make it any wider than that because that's obviously going to cause us issues and yeah it's going to glue the entire cover together so we're going to apply that and the simplest way to do so is to and this is one i cut earlier but we just cut off a piece that is just slightly bigger than the length of the album and we're going to apply that along the edge of this fold here um so that it creates a nice seamless fix. So just bear with me whilst I attach that and I'm just gonna speed this up on the video so that you don't have to watch me fiddle about. We just have to be very careful. We line it up uh, along the edge here so that it's a nice, clean, strong bond right up to the top of that flap there. Right, so as you can see, I've got the tape now applied along that edge, all the way nice and clean across there. It's not poking out past the um, past the folded seam here, and it also doesn't go beyond the flap and the inside so that we cause ourselves problems there as well. So I just want to run my finger along there, make sure it's a nice um, firm bond. And then, of course, we can clip this now. Nice and easy, just to clip the edge. And you may need to tidy this up a little bit, perhaps with a sharper knife or a craft knife afterwards at the edge if there's still a little bit poking out. But you know, we can worry about that later down the line. What I'm going to do now is just peel back the protective 
piece here to reveal the other side of the tape. And again, I may just speed this up a little bit so that you don't have to watch me fiddle with it. And now that we've removed the protective layer, then we just want to very carefully from the outside move our hand across here and then push down to confirm the seal and the fix and there you go that is now at least on that top side 100% fixed as I say there's a little bit of the tape just poking out there I can clean that up later on with a craft knife just run it across there and just take off the rest of the tape but I'm really pleased with that fix that's invisible um, nobody would know it had been done once that little bit of tape that's on the edge there has been taken out and we got ourselves a really nice clean fix without any tape going on whatsoever so that's method number one we'll just now move on to the other style of jacket so with our Tony Bennett record, we can't just apply double-sided 3M tape to the inside of the record for pretty obvious reasons, really. You know, there is there is no internal flap here. So if we apply double-sided tape to the inside of here, then of course we're going to attach the top and the bottom of the, or the back and the front of the record sleeve to itself. And that will naturally reduce the size of the record sleeve and our record is not going to fit inside the jacket now of course in the past people have applied tape around the outside here and that ruins the aesthetic as well a better way of repairing a record sleeve in this way a cleaner way a more seamless way is to go get yourself some of these seems easy record jacket repair strips so seems easy as a company make these really cool strips and they're um, essentially a piece of card like this that has an adhesive much similar to your 3m adhesive in here but this is now a foldable piece of card with the adhesive on the other side so when we apply that to the record jacket here it folds in half here and we're essentially rebuilding the top bend the top fold of the record jacket here that's going to now seamlessly replace that top piece and this will be attached to the front and the back and still retain the space for the record to slip in to the gap here so we're going to retain the integrity of the size of the record jacket and we're going to do it in a way that is seamless and invisible in the process with no tape whatsoever now of course i've seen people online um, go get themselves some bits of card fold them in half and use glue on either side to create a similar effect to this but again we risk getting glue where it shouldn't go and i don't really want to risk that that's not something that i'm going to do but again it has merit you know it creates a seamless repair this is just a much cleaner safer way in my view in order to do to achieve the same thing so let's get straight into how we apply that to this tony bennett record Okay, so with this split seam, the seam hasn't split all the way down the length of the record jacket. We've got a split that comes from here to here, but it hasn't made its way all the way to the, the back spine. And the same is uh, to be applied at the bottom of the record jacket here. So that's a good thing in that the record jacket isn't completely broken. All the examples I've seen online of seams easy being used and record jacket repairs being used, they've literally kind of split all the way down the middle and you can open it up like a gatefold. And um, now that's good in that we've got some of the integrity of the structure still in place but it makes it it poses a little bit of a challenge for us in terms of actually getting this strip right to the back spine here to apply the the full length of a seems easy strip so um yeah it's going to be quite difficult for me to do that without the adhesive kind of sticking into places where i don't want and you know for good reason this is a quite a fairly strong adhesive and we don't want it kind of sticking here and here because i couldn't apply it along the the leading edge of the of the record jacket so there's two ways we can get about this we can either apply a craft knife that goes all the way down here and we open up the entire record which is a little feels a little bit brutal a bit crude to me um or we can opt to trim the size of this seems easy strip instead so we just apply it to the bit that's broken and then we trim at this end and that i think for the moment is the option that i'm going to opt for so if you know a better way if you've got a better idea then by all means let me know in the comments below if you've got some suggestions i'd love to hear from you but for the moment i'm going to go for the the least destructive fix i can possibly go for so let's get straight into that Okay, so we take one of our seems easy strips and I like to take where the, the sort of pre-fold is here and just go along the length just to prime it to make sure it folds in exactly the place that I want it to. Just go along the length of it here and then we're going to remove the adhesive strip like so. Take that all the way back. And then we take our strip, just make sure it's nicely folded and we put it inside the jacket like so and we're going to rebuild that seam 
So you want to make sure, obviously, that this goes towards the edge. I'm just going to speed up the camera as I do this, as obviously there might be a little bit of fiddling around whilst I just get this into the optimum position so that it's not past the record jacket and it's not sticking out and looking really obvious that there's something pushed into the record sleeve. <laughs> Okay, so I've lined that up across the edge there. I've gone just past the rip so that it's um, repaired right up to, as I say, the whole thing hasn't gone. So we've gone just past it. So we know we've got the integrity of uh, what's left there, but we're going to repair all of this um, of what's remaining down here. So now that I've got that lined up on the other side of the cover, we're now going to, of course, um, take from the back to the front and we're going to stick it down. And there you go. If I just put some pressure across the length of it there, then we have the two pieces stuck together and that outside seam rebuilt. And then all we need to do is trim off the excess here. And voila, we have one repaired record jacket and we can still fit that record inside there. I've actually already done the top, did the same thing on the top there, and you can see that is nice strong repair. That's not going anywhere, and that should last and preserve this record in that sleeve for many, many years to come. Just one final tip before we wrap this up is sometimes you will find you've got kind of little bits of paper flakes on the edge of the record from where the the tears happened over time now you can tidy this up a little bit further by taking very very fine sandpaper let's say sort of 200 grit plus you know that very 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 fine sandpaper um, and just very very gently take it along the edge of the record sleeve here and you will tidy up any of that flaking paper that may be there so just to finalize the result and make it look as tidy as possible but there you have it there's two record jackets repaired we've preserved the exterior of the record we haven't used any tape we've not used any glue it's as tidy as it could possibly be and we're preserving those records and making sure they stay in good condition for many years to come what we want to do now is probably put this in a nice exterior um, polypropylene sleeve and that will preserve the record and make sure that we don't get any further tearing but you know it's a really strong repair and this should hold up for many years to come and I'm really pleased with the result that's all we got time for today that concludes today's topic we hope you found this useful and that you can apply this to restore and maintain some of your record sleeves that perhaps need just a little bit of love so if you have any questions pop them down in the comments below we'd love to hear from you and if you'd like to check out the products that we've talked about here then there'll be a link in the description below where you can check out everything that we've talked about in this video so thanks ever so much for watching if you're new here please like and comment and subscribe to this channel and um, we'd love to have you on board and we will see you in the next video. Cheers.